Today we're going to be talking about functions and some of the key vocabulary terms that we need to know when addressing functions. So when we're talking about functions, we have two different types of variables. We have independent and dependent variables. Uh, independent variables, typically we use the variable x when talking about them, are assigned to any of the values in the domain of our function. Um, and the domain just represents the values that are able to be input into the function. They're the input values. Or we can think of it as being all of our possible x values that we can use in our function. Uh, once we've input those values into the function, we're going to get some result out. And that's going to be the, uh, the value of our dependent variable. So the dependent variable, typically, like I said, we use y for this, um, depends on the value of x. So it depends on what our function is defined by. And that value that we get out is our, the value of our dependent variable. So our range is what we get out of our function. It's the output values or all of the possible values of our y or all of our possible dependent variable values. Now, if we want to know whether a relation is a function, so a relation is just any graph or set of ordered pairs. Uh, if we want to know if a relation is a function, then the x values or the inf input values are not allowed to repeat. Uh, if they do repeat, they have to have the exact same output. So any x value that repeats and has a different output would mean that that relation is not a function. So let's take a look at what we're talking about with that. So we want to figure out, is this relation a function? So we have uh, five sets of ordered pairs here. And we want to know, does this define a function? So when we're looking at this, we can see that in our y's, we have some repeated values. So we have some repeated output values of 7. But we don't really care about repeating output values. We want to know about input values. So we can see that we have a repeating input value here at negative 2. Now, because this negative 2 has a different output, right? Negative 2, 7, and negative 2, negative 4, we have to say that this is not a function. Not a function. If these output values were exactly the same, if they were both 7 or both negative 4, then it would be because it's not really a different point. It's the same point. So if we're looking at this second example, we want to know, is this a function? So again, we have some repeating output values, 8 and 8, 1 and 1, but no repeating input values, no repeating x values. And because of that, we can say that this is in fact a function. So this is a function because there are no repeating x values, no repeating inputs. Now, sometimes we have an equation that we need to look at and figure out, is that equation a function? So like we said before, in order for something to be a function, if we're given one x value and it gives us more than one y value, then that equation is not a function. So an input of 2 can't give us an output of 5 and negative 3. It has to be the same output in order for it to be a function. So if we have some function and it's giving us, or if we have some equation, sorry, that has like a y squared or y equals plus or minus something, then we're going to have an e that equation is not going to be a function. So some examples would be x equals y squared or y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. Both of those are not functions. Uh, let's look at this second one and kind of demonstrate why that is. So if in this equation, in that equation, if we let x equals 0, what happens? So substitute 0 in for x here. So we have y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 0 squared. 0 squared, we know that is just 0. So that's plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is just 1. So plus or minus the square root of 1, which is just 1. So plus or minus 1. So when x was 0, we got an output of both positive and negative 1. So that means we result in these ordered pairs, 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. So you can see that in this equation here, this output of or input of 0 gives us two different outputs. So it's not a function.